Welcome. This video will look at how we can integrate S4 HANA Extended Warehouse Management with the Production Planning and Control Module in S4 HANA. We will start by showing how you can manage the staging to production and then consume components during production. In the end, we will show how you can manage the subsequent receiving of finished products. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer, or any other group or individual. Due to this demo stepwise approach, we may leave you with the impression that a lot of manual effort is needed. In real life, the end users will only see and interact with the sequences on handheld devices, if not eliminated through integration with production shop floor systems. Let us look at some of the benefits provided by using EWM in a production environment. You can utilize the production supply areas better, by optimizing the staging of components. Post goods consumption in real time, providing better inventory and cost visibility. Receive products directly from production to your warehouse, for better inventory visibility. As already mentioned, the production integration can be divided into three main areas, staging to production, consumption, and receipt from production. We will use one production order in our demo, produce one unit, and use single order staging for two components. Let's kick it off by creating and releasing the production order. We use the Create Production Order app and create our production order manually. We will produce one single unit of our finished product. Since our components are batch controlled, we will manually trigger batch determination and later secure that we pick from the correct batches when staging to the production supply area. We finalize this process step by releasing the order and save it. Before we trigger the material staging, let's spend a few words on staging to production. You can plan ahead with different staging methods, single or multi-order. You can stage partial quantities of the product at intervals as the product is needed. Trigger stock replenishment through Kanban or from the shop floor system. When time is due, we can trigger the production supply area staging from the production order. We use the Change Production Order app to open the recently created production order. When open, we select More from the menu at the top, then Functions, WM Material Staging, and finally choose Execute. Based on the triggering, the system will generate a production material request, a PMR. Let us take a brief look at it. We open the automatically created PMR. We can see it contains three items. First, the finished product, that eventually will be received into the warehouse. It also contains the two items we need to stage to the production supply area. Next step is to create the necessary warehouse tasks, the steps needed to bring our two components to the production supply area. For now, we will do it manually. We open the PMR, select the two components and create the warehouse tasks needed to move them to production. At the end of this step, we can see they have been assigned to one warehouse order. The remaining step in staging to production is to move the two components, represented through one warehouse order with two pick tasks, to the production line. We use the RF device to do so. First, we create a picking handling unit, then, we pick the two items with proper validation. In the end, we bring the goods to the PSA, the production supply area. Staging to production is now complete, and we are ready to move to the next stage, consumption during production. During this stage, you can post the consumption as the production consumes the components. Record consumption with shop floor system through integration with for instance SAP manufacturing execution. You can also, if needed, reverse consumption. Let us show how we can use the handheld RF device to record consumption directly in EWM. We select outbound then consumption and specify the correct production order. Since the two components are batch controlled, we need to validate the batch it and other required information before consumption is registered.
When components have been consumed and finished products start coming out of the production line, we can start the receipt from production. We can use the receipt from production to automate goods receipt of products, call and buy products as they arrive from the production line. We can monitor production progress in the production overview screen in EWM. Let the shop floor system send the goods receipt message directly to EWM. It's time to do the receipt of the goods. As stated earlier, this can be done using the RF support in EWM. We use the RF devices just like we do for other incoming goods. We do it by warehouse order and comply with the instructions on the screen. We will end this demo by completing the production order. Completion of the production order is done by opening the production order in the order confirmation app. We select the proper confirmation type, set it to final confirmation, confirms the output quantity of one unit, and save. We end by posting the goods movement in the system. The functionality shown in this video is available in S4 HANA Extended Warehouse Management, embedded and decentralized. It is also available in classic SAP Extended Warehouse Management 9.x. Let us recap some of the benefits provided by using EWM in a production environment. You can utilize the production supply areas better, by optimizing the staging of components. Post goods consumption in real time, providing better inventory and cost visibility. Receive products directly from production to your warehouse, for better inventory visibility. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.